How long do I have to wait before getting into the water after I add my chemicals? The answer to that question would depend on what type of chemicals that you are adding. Uh, typically speaking, when you add something like a chlorine sanitizer to the water or shocking your pool, as a lot of people would call that, you want to give a number of hours, you know, the, and the answer that you get will depend on who you're asking. Uh, between 6 and 12 hours is uh, something that you'll be recommended a lot, as much as 24 hours, especially for superchlorination of the water where you're dramatically increasing the, the chlorine count perhaps even further. Um, you wouldn't want to swim with uh, the chlorine count of 10 parts per million uh, or more when, uh, you know, 1 to 3 parts per million is more in the comfortable range for mo most swimmers. If you're adding an oxidizer to the water, like potassium monopersulfate or something that would be labeled as non-chlorine shock, um, the idea of this is that it, it has a similar property in that it can kill bacteria uh, through oxidization as opposed, to, as, as opposed to being a sanitizer, it's an oxidizer, and it dissipates very quickly in the water. Within an hour or two after using a, a heavy dose oxidizer, you can go swimming in the water. In terms of the rest of the chemicals, common sense uh, has a lot to do with it. If you add four liters of muriatic acid to your pool, you probably want to give that a couple of hours before the kids jump in. Um, but in terms of the, the chlorine sanitizer, that's going to be the number one reason why you would be asking this question. And you really want to give a minimum of six hours when you're, you're doing a heavy chlorine shock before you have any swimmers in the pool.